Hey now, what you say now? Nah, it's your girl Latangela, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another episode of the Latangela Show podcast. I don't know if you heard it or not, but it is homecoming for Jaguar Nation, and it's all the way up. So I had to bring in the heavy hitters, because you know, we got that applied pressure on the yard, 50 yard line, and I am the assistant coach today. Now, I don't know if they told you, did they tell you that? No, I agree, though. Okay, well, as long as you know it, we have none other than the Coach Dooley, our head coach of the Southern University Jaguars. How are you? I'm doing well, and good morning to you. Look, thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule. I know that you all have been super busy, but, you know, we've got questions that need answers. Absolutely, and I have the answers. <laughs> I know you do. Listen, all of the energy, it's there right now. You got the squad, we got the team. Um, how has it been for the transition of you coming in and, and filling this role so far? Well, you know, uh, it's been a fast transition, but uh, fairly easy, I should say, because I'm, I'm very familiar with it. But it still takes some adjustments you have to do, and I, I think we're moving along right along with it. Absolutely. You know, Jaguar Nation, it's very important that we show up, we fill those stands, and that we are representing with our student athletes because they work hard. They work extremely hard and, and out in the heat as well. So uh, I, we do need you guys to uh, uh, actually support those guys. That's right. And I know that we're always expecting so much out of our student athletes. Um, what has been one of the biggest challenges for you to come in and keep the momentum going in the direction that we need it? Well, you know, uh, just knowing the history of Southern University, they expect championships, and yeah. rightfully so, I expect it as well. So I know it's a challenge for me. I love the challenge right there. That's why I accepted the job. Uh, but more importantly, uh, my steps was ordered. I like that. You know, I was just about to ask you, how did you know that you wanted to actually feel the role of being a coach, a head coach? That's a lot of responsibility, right? It's like you got a team of coaches with you. You got a team of players. But being the coach, the shot caller, the one that is – I mean, the coach. <laughs> yeah, you know, a lot of folks don't understand, though. I always want to be in alignment. Uh, I, I'm a God-fearing mm -hmm. man, so I, I, I pray on it. My family and I, we pray on it. My step was ordered, and I have a uh, new chapter that I have to come complete. So this is my purpose, and I understand it clearly. There it is. And when you're talking to the student athletes as they're coming in and they're doing their practice, they may have had a tough game, but you got to tell them it's water under the bridge on to the next. Um, you know, with student athletes, we look at them as if they are full grown adults, but these are still young adults that's growing. They're finding their way, um, dealing with the peer pressure, with the expectancies that we have as avid fans. You know, but the reality of it is that we can't win every game. It does take time. Life is out here life. And um, how, how do we keep our student athletes intact? How's you, that? You know, it's tough. And, and I, the reason why I say it's tough, because uh, I, I guess 2020 taught me a different view of certain things. Because now you got to always reach out to the middle and understand Absolutely. that uh, a lot of different things go go forward. But, you know, we got to keep those guys going. Let them uh, guys understand that, you know, this is life you got to be able to make sudden changes and make adjustments, and they understand that. Uh, do we want to win every game? Absolutely. Absolutely, Are we, trying to win we every do. Game? That's our purpose every year. So, uh, But those guys understand. I understand the adjustment, and then I give them what's ahead, and then we always say we don't look in the rearview mirror. Yeah, I like that. Don't look in that rearview mirror because we're all steam ahead for homecoming Saturday. Who are we taking on? Uh, we're taking on Lincoln University, a uh, uh, second-year program out of California. Okay, good. So here it is. I'm working on my game plan, right? And I'm, I'm going to put on my thinking cap with you because I, I want to get in this passenger seat, and I want you to drive me to the end zone. Tell me, what's the game plan? What are we doing, Coach? Put me in. Let's go. You, you know, I, I'm, I'm an attacking-style coach, and, and, and I don't second-guess anything that I do. I, I feel uh, if I'm if I'm a strikeout, I'm a swing. So uh, mm -hmm. we're going to go after it. Uh, uh, we know we got a team coming in that don't have as much experience as we have, but – uh, we fear none and uh, respect all, so we're going to go out and play football Yeah, 60 Minutes. Absolutely. Listen, that's a long 60 Minutes, too. You hear me? I'm talking about there are no breaks. You make it a little downtime when they say, what, it's not pause, it's a um, timeout. Time out. I'm about to say pause. That's <laughs> the music. But <laughs> Pause, help. Wait, wait a minute. It's me. Wait a minute. No, but, you know, here it is. We're pushing for those season ticket holders to come on out. I know that we're expecting all of our family and our friends to make their way back to the yard. Mumford Stadium on a Saturday night. There's absolutely no place like it. We got our team. We got the human jukebox of those fabulous dolls. We'll be out there. Our cheer squad, they'll be out there turning it all the way up. 
as, as so as the Jaguar Nation. But I will say this here. I, I like to say it in, in perspective. Uh, uh, we didn't get off to the start that we anticipated. Uh, and you know, life uh, always gives you a curveball. But I tell you one thing. Uh, we're still right where we need to be at. We still have an opportunity to represent what we started out to represent. That is to go to the uh, conference championship and win it all. And those goals are still uh, ahead of us. Uh, uh, some folks are, are upset, but you know what? We're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep grinding. And we're going to bring the Jaguar Nation what they're looking for. Absolutely. And, you know, Coach, it's it's easy for us to be the coach from the sidelines, you know. And it's easy for us to call the plays after the fact. It's easy for us to sit up here and give our opinions. But when you're in the heat of the moment and you're really trying your best to get it done because we know that you want the win, you want the championship, you want to be able to pull it through successfully. But how important is it that you do have a layer of transparency for all of Jaguar Nation that's watching, that's cheering, that's rooting, and that's expecting, right? I know it's got to be tough. At what point do you say? What point do you just be quiet? And what? How do you balance that? Well, you know, I'm always going to be professional. 